Greetings everyone, welcome in another episode of XCOM Enemy Within Playthrough. Okay, so new fighter, good. I intend to be ready on every continent and we clearly cannot rely on ravens anymore maybe we should, we should even uh, sell ravens or something I don't know if that's even possible to be honest Chamber and increase psionic strength of our soldier. Okay, okay. So, Gallop Chamber, not enough power. So, yeah, um, power generator, it's cheap and fast. And it would be enough, right? Or maybe go big or go home. Illyrium is uh, much more expensive, but is giving us a lot more power. The thing is, I don't think I need all that power. I think Gallop Chamber is the, like, like the last building I need. And this one is cheaper, so yeah. What now? Escort a scientist? Okay, they didn't play that tune before. So, okay, let's go with our psychers, mostly. And, uh, yeah. Colonel Vega commanding, as usual. United States this time, okay. Like, most of my mission took place in Europe, I think. The council believes Dr. Marizuki's research to be extremely valuable. They're requesting we escort him safely to the evac point. Big Sky will be in position to make the pickup at the other end of the facility. Okay, um, so this will, this will depend on... Well, I have control of a good doctor, so this should be a piece of a cake. Not like a usual escort mission in those ties, times, so uh, in those kinds of games, when the escorted unit would be controlled by AI and it would be bloody stupid. Okay, I'll check it out. 
Slow and steady. Overwatch. Overwatch everything. Teammans. Oh, dude, <laughs> what Tinman? There is no Tinman. Never was any. Dude, dude, <laughs> like Tinman? The wall is no longer there. Damn. Bad day to be teen man. What do you know? Three more. I really don't get why the game is throwing a teen man at me at this point. They will fall off the head if I look at them angrily. Yep. From what I've observed so far, it's clear the aliens have developed a propulsion system that allows for faster than light travel. Would be logical, otherwise they would never get here without FTL drive of some kind. And by the way, FTL stands for faster than light. Psychers are really, really great at killing those things. see him so no, no mind frame for mind fray this time well let's overwatch and uh, you um you can overwatch here Your move, suit man. Oh no, free damage. What shall I do? I find myself wondering how far these creatures have traveled to undertake this invasion. The resources involved are staggering. Oh look, another tin man. I'm so scared. Wow, true sniper you are. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think it's time for you to go. Yep, that will leave a scar. Who would throw Tinwen at me at this point? Like one of my dudes could probably kill them all. Well, guess what? You're dead. Voices told you you're dead. Oh, bad idea, mate. But you will not learn from this mistake, I'm afraid. Oh no, two damage. Ow. Oh, bad neighborhood, dude. See you later, dude. Oh, wow. Nice jump. Mm, yeah, 98. Seriously, bad day to be a suit man. This is slaughter, pure and simple. Whoever planned this ambush on the good doctor, whoever planned this operation on the alien side is a moron. At this point, I'm kind of wondering if overwatching is even a thing in this mission. I'm on it, Commander.
afirmativo. Roger that. On the move. Solid copy. Oh, dude. Yeah, voices told you that you're dead. Oh, sorry for that. I forgot to put my cell phone on silent. Slaughter, pure and simple. I guess they have unlimited supply or of tin mans. Otherwise, this is just. of heavy x-ray activity in that area enemy forces are likely closing on your location no impossible you wouldn't land here oh dude it's like shooting fish in the barrel Oh, good doctor. 
I guess you alone, given one pistol, would kill them all. Okay, nice, a new side ranks. Hopefully every operation goes this well. The, the second rank of this side training is not that impressive to be honest. Um yeah, sentinel. Huh. Third rank. Um, okay. Yeah, I think this is more useful. Yeah, definitely. I think. Yeah, I would prefer to have more mind controllers. Um, smoke or... Huh, useless and yeah, less useless to be honest. Yeah, don't be a stranger. Alright, now we should have serious firepower with those cannons. I mean, I assume this will be a really glorious EMP cannon. According to the description, if I hit something with that, it will be damaged, but more or less intact. Which means the, well, electric systems will be fried and the craft will be forced to crash land, but it will not be um, damaged in the air otherwise. So, more booty for us. Yeah, I'm thinking, can I even sell the ravens? They're not costing me much. Hmm. Yeah. Well, not costing me much, they are costing me still, and uh, money is money, and I don't feel like ravens are all that useful anymore. 
I don't know really. I'm on the fence on this one. I feel like having two in the same continent. Yeah. Demon can handle everything, so. Mm. Now, having two in the same continent is actually. I think it would be, it would be fine. One demon and one raven. should be okay. Aliens terrorizing Los Angeles. Why it is always Los Angeles? Okay, I guess we will have us some battle for uh, Los Angeles then. Let's take our psychers. United States. We're picking up civilian comm traffic indicating alien activity spreading throughout a residential section of the city. We should move quickly in this one to prevent further casualties. Copy, Big Sky. Strike one has been given the green light. Your highest priority is to protect those. Huh. Already. That. What? Okay. It seems I aggro some uninvited guests. Well then. Hmm. Definitely this one. Yeah, nice shot. With firepower I am currently possessing, this is a true bug hunt. Um, no cover though. I would like to shoot the guy, but... I don't like the car as a cover because it explodes, so we will need to do this. Kill them all. Overwatch, stand in the open overwatch and kill everything you see. And let's hope there is no one with the grenade in the vicinity. shot good good slow and steady I see there are two more but uh, I'm guessing they will move now and my overwatch will pulverize them
Oh, would you look at that? Adjust your head. The girls took it out for you. Oh no, stompy noises. <sighs> there is hope there is this is the small guy with uh mech suit. Small psychic guy and not full on boss. Wow, do you wanna die? Because that's how you make yourself dead. Missing a berserker. For real? I swear, if I wouldn't have a bad luck, I would have no luck at all. You kidding me, right? On my way. Thirty one percent to hit mind fray? The hell? You see, rookie is hitting. Well, rookie. Okay, suddenly and unexpectedly, I'm in the bind, to be honest. I'll check it out. I wasn't expecting this guy to still stand. Huh. Yeah, I think this would be better. Well then, uh, no pressure, you need to kill it. Because your more, more experienced colleagues failed to do so. I don't know how you will achieve that goal, but... It will still be alive. Well, that was a fail. Oh, yeah, close combat. Oh, thank you, Colonel. But that means I do not have Overwatch. Yeah, they are pissed off because their body is dead. Maybe he was a kind of stupid body, but... Well... He was from the group nevertheless, so they are pissed off. Mm, yeah, this guy is blocking my... Uh, the place I would like to actually put my soldier in. Wow, 100%. Well, Colonel... Huh. I hope you thought this through. Go, you're safe. Go! Holy shit, suddenly this is not such a good idea as five seconds before. I didn't have any overwatch. Um, luckily for me, he have no light or line of sight. And the worst thing you can do is kill mind control Newton. But I need to gather up 
considerable firepower hmm. in order to deal with this one. Huh, yeah. Half cover. No, better than nothing. The plan is to overwatch the shit out of everything and hopefully when the big guy will corner or stand in the door or well, whatever, my overwatch will take half of his health. Otherwise, this will be messy. Obviously, two little guys will come in first, so that will be at least two shots of overwatch spent. Hey, stop shooting at my puppet. Well, better him than uh, my own people, I guess. Yeah, waste your shots on this. What? Oh, they are shooting civilians. Okay. I, I completely forgot they are actually capable of range attack. If you hear anything in the background, I'm sorry. There is a garbage truck doing its job. And I'm uh, my window is opened. And I definitely will not close it. Nice! Wow, okay. This is way more useful than I was expecting it to be. I was thinking about this um, as a form of uh, CC. Crowd control. Like, if I will mind control him, he will not shoot me. And them, meaning the rest of the aliens will shoot a mind controlled one, but he's more useful than that. Hmm. Yeah. Um, half covers. Yeah, sure. Hmm. Is this a cover? to overwatch all the way through. Sorry mind controlled guy, but safety of my team is my priority. Though I admit they are killing civilians with frightening speed. seems I am not the only one that uh, is getting x comped from time to time. Hmm. Now, um, floater, I guess, or big guy. 
Oh, 100%. She's not a small target, I guess. Well, civilians, okay, I can shoot civilians, okay, alright, I didn't realize that. Mm. Do we want to take pot shots at the big one? I'm guessing as long as we have a mind controlled one this sectopod or, or whatever it is called, I forgot will be shooting mostly as on the mind control one so we are kind of safe for now and if we set up enough overwatch maybe we will be able to actually hurt it That's it for you. Well then, we do. How could you miss this guy? He's the size of aircraft carrier. Pathetic. Um. Yeah, put it down. Put. Dude, somebody will die here. Uh oh. She did nothing. That was unexpected. Is, is he in Overwatch or is he in... Hmm. Dude, you are fur colonel, you are the first man I recruited here and... Never fucking mind. I do have the chance to outright kill the guy. So better not to squander it. <sighs> I'm not saying anything.
Yeah, he's not taking much damage to be honest. Maybe taking out the small one was not such a good idea. Maybe I should take the big one first. Um, parle. You had one job. You were the last one. You were the chosen one. Shit. Hey, they're creeping up on me. ET's trying to crawl up my flank. Okay, it's not that bad. It's only armor. That could go better. I need to stabilize the guy who have a medkit. Let's finish up this guy first. I think. They will both go down now. If I kill the big guy now, that would be the end of the mission anyway, right? I don't need to stabilize the colonel. He will be automatically stabilized. Assuming A, I will goddamn hit anything. B, assuming B, this is the last guy. Oh, for crying out loud! This will explode, so yeah, no, no joy there. I do have a medkit here. No. No. Well, a uh, well-planned operation just turned out to be some kind of slaughterhouse. Hmm. Not a happy panda here. I really don't want to lose Vega. He's my first soldier ever. The sole survivor of the first mission. No cover, no cover. If I would have assurances that I will kill the guy with this shot, standing in the open wouldn't be a bad idea, but if I miss, that would be another casualty. Well, then the solution is not to miss. Oh my lord, it's the same. Thank you! Whew, nobody lost. Though probably Vega will be in the hospital in the, for another six years, even be him being a space marine and a psyker and whatnot. Well, that was unexpected, to be honest. I was going like gun ho, uh, pff, backhand. Five days? That's it? And Tariq, nine days? God damn, it's good to be a space marine. <laughs> Five days.
remember, we will be watching. That will be it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, click a like, comment on it, and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.